L9 is the next block and it has quite a few triangles. You've got the same size triangles here on each side and then these are a little smaller and then you've got four, five squares in the center. So how this is going to work, I'm going to work on assembling the center square. So I'm going to assemble this like an on point quilt. So this is going to be a row here with these three pieces. I'll put this on top of it. Then I will make these three in a row with these at the ends and the same thing over here with these three pieces and this at the bottom. So then once I get this square made, I can put these three together and attach it to the top and the same on each side, put these three triangles together and attach them to each side as I go and then finally add these corners to finish off the square. So I have my block all laid out and I have a directional fabric, it's a stripe. So I've lined up my stripe on the 45 for this block. So I'm going to start in the center section here with the middle block basting my, my uh, tags. I'm going to baste the hypotenuse first and then the legs of the triangles. My tags go out, I believe, because if I do that, then they should nest. Yes, this will nest here into this because I've got lots of triangles. These are going to be basted opposite sides and then opposite sides. And then this is going to do the same thing, hypotenuse and then the legs. If I'm consistent with the hypotenuse and then the leg basting on all of these triangles, I should have minimal crashing when it comes to the tabs. So let's get started and I'm going to work on this corner section for the center block. So I've basted my first two pieces and I wanted to make a note that I'm going to baste it one triangle at a time and then attach it to where it goes so that I don't lose my directionalness on this because as soon as I baste this I get my arrows all um, covered up and stuff. So I'm going to attach these one at a time right after I baste them. So I've got this first little row of my center square assembled and I can pick it up so that's what it's looking like and so then the next thing is I'm going to put this triangle on the end before I go to this center row of my center square so this is a corner unit at this point and I will base the squares when I base these three squares I'm going to base the white ones one way and the striped one the other way just so that it gives it a flipped and it's easier to assemble so for example i'm going to do these first and then this and then on this one i'll do these first and then this and i'll do the same here as i did here so i basted my three center squares i started with this side and then this side for this one and this one this one i did the opposite i did this side first and then this side though it's hard to tell because of this fabric so you can see the that's on top of it so um, I'm gonna assemble these and then I'll be able to base and attach my little tiny side triangles I've attached my three center squares together and now I'm gonna add these end triangles I am going to baste the legs of the triangle first before I do the hypotenuse so that the tags will go away. I'm just a little concerned that if I have the tags going this way that it might interfere with this intersection when I go to attach this. Well, let me, this is probably shows you better. So this way um, my tag doesn't go towards this one. It'll go away. So um, I'll try that out and hopefully it'll work the best. So I've got my whole center section completed with my side triangles and I'm gonna still run into issues with clashing of tabs but so I guess it doesn't matter which way your tabs go but I wanted to try it this way for this particular situation so now I will assemble the same unit over here with these four pieces now all three of my sections of my center square have been assembled and I will connect them to form the center square. 
So my center square is all assembled. And so now I'm going to work on the outer sections. So I'm gonna pair up three of the triangles and attach them to the side on each side. And these corners will be the last thing. So we're gonna do these units of three and then attach them. So I've got two of my three triangles basted and like before, I'm going to baste one of my focus fabric triangles and then attach it before basting my second so I don't get the orientations messed up. So I've attached these two and basted this one and it's going to attach here. All three of my triangles have now been assembled and I can attach it to my center square. So I've attached my three triangle unit to the bottom of my center block. And this is getting kind of fun because it's nesting very well with the designs of the stripe as well. So this is going to be interesting. The other thing is, is because of my tags going all the same way in the triangles, it's kind of nice that these are nesting really, really well. So I don't know if I can see, show this or not, but um, so I've got these in there. This is here. This is a, this fabric pattern isn't very conducive to this, but this tags go this way on these triangles and they nest right in the center of this one. And this triangle has the tag right here. So these are all nesting into each other very well, which doesn't always happen with English paper piecing. So I'm really happy about that. So hopefully that will do the same all the way around as long as I'm consistent with the way I baste. So I will go on to my upper portion and um, do these three triangles next. So these are assembled and this is basted to be attached so that I can finish this top unit to attach to my center block. So I've completed my top section and attached it to the top of my center square. So now I will move to one of my side sections and get that based and, and assembled. Now I am all set to attach my left hand unit to my center block. So I've attached my section to the left hand side of my center block. And this is what you should have so far. And now I'm going to attach this last bit on, my, on the right side here. So I've added my final side, and so this is what you should have at this point, which is this funky looking, kind of fun actually, but anyway, I'm going to add the final corners, and so just like everything else, I'm going to, you know, I was going to base my hypotenuse, and then the legs, which would put the tags inside, but actually looking at this, I'm going to base the legs and then the hypotenuse. So my tags go away from the middle because there's already enough tags in there. So, because these are all nesting very nicely. But if I put those in there, they're going to be on top of those. So I'm going to base the legs and then the hypotenuse so that they go out. And then I'm going to attach it to the corners here. So I got my triangle basted and I will be able to attach this to this corner to finish off that square edge. So I've got two of my corners attached on the opposite sides. And then I'm just gonna put the other two corners on after I base them. So I finished attaching the last two of my outer corners and my L9 block is now complete. And I gotta say, I think it's pretty fun 